Now the agroforestry practice of silvopasture <clears throat> is the intentional combination of trees and forage specifically for grazing livestock. Now you can use any kinds of trees. Uh, most commonly in the U.S. high value timber trees are chosen such as black walnut, pecan. In the southeast a lot of uh, pine is used. When doing a silvopasture system it's not just grazing your animals in the woods. If you just graze your animals in the woods with no uh, intention of managing your forage or no intention of managing the tree quality, that's not silvopasture. That's just like putting your animals in the woods. You're going to degrade the forest resource and your animals aren't going to be well enough fed. One of the ways that we use silvopasture, we have certain places where the system is designed for timber production and we just cycle the animals through there periodically. We try to keep the animals out of the trees when it's exceptionally wet weather because we don't want to have damage to the uh, roots by uh, hoof compaction. We also move them through more quickly because especially cattle, which we send through the area first, they like to browse. They'll eat a lot of the foliage and branches. They'll break branches. The pigs we tend to send in last as our cleanup crew and we oftentimes uh, have the pigs come in after we've harvested whatever the crop is, the pigs come in and get any fallen fruit that, that we've missed or any uh, pest riddled fruit that's already fallen to the ground. There are other silvopasture systems that we've set up that are exclusively for the livestock. That the trees, shrubs, bushes, vines, canes, and the forage is all for the livestock to harvest. And we're in one of those spots right now. This whole system is not a not designed to be a human food uh, direct consumption system. We don't harvest these nuts and feed them the people. We let these nuts ripen, fall off the trees, and we have some of the finest chestnut, chestnut fattened pork that you can find anywhere. So pigs are only one component of our silvopasture systems. We can go look at some of our other silvopasture systems with different trees as well. These are primarily chestnuts, mulberries, elderberries, cherries, grapes and raspberries. This time of year uh, I was actually somewhat surprised that the pigs came running over to us because this time of year they're usually hanging out under the mulberry trees and if you have any wild mulberries growing on your property that have berries the ground is usually littered with purple fruit. Well not so in the silvopasture system there is not a mulberry that lasts on the ground for more than five minutes without the pigs cleaning it up. This system also includes uh, several oak trees, we have apple trees, cherry trees as I mentioned before and all of that is intended for the pigs to harvest.